Hello, today we are going to learn this. Yes, right. Now by Gary Clark Jr. I love the wild feel of his song, you know, with a big fuss and use and a simple and juicy riff. <laughs> Thanks for taking your time out and welcome to the Guitar Broadcast. My name is Shiv Rabbani. Needless to say, you can support this channel by doing one simple act of kindness called subscribing. Yeah. And you can do that at the link button over there down in the corner. Yeah. Done subscribing? Let's get to the song. This song is in drop D tuning, which means your E string is D right now. D, A, D. And mostly you will be playing these three strings. E, A, D. And you start with the two strokes on open D. Palm muting, you know, uh, sounds nice, but you can do without that as well. So, two notes, open D. And after that, you're going to slide all the way from this point to your P note, which means the seventh note on your E string. Two stroke and third, slide. And after that you go for the D string and third note, which is F. So. And little vibrato on your F note. I'm using my middle finger right now. You can use this your, your ring finger as well for this overall slide. I'm using the middle finger because it's easy to go to this F note after this. After these notes, you're going to have two hammer on from three to five on D string and three to five on A string. like this so complete this is the first round we are slow For the second note, same, almost uh, till your F note, till here, but not hammer on this time, you're going to have pull off from this fifth note to the third note on your D string. And the third note, you're going to have this fifth note on the A string. In the first round, you did something like this, hammer on, but in the second round, you're going to have pull off. So for complete. Two round complete. Hammer on. Pull off. In the song, on the fourth round, which means four beat, he changes it a little bit. And for the three beats, mean the for three times it's same, like. But the last time, on the fourth time, slide from this fifth to seven on the D string, and third and fifth on your A string. So 
complete riff. In song, you also add variation. Uh, rather than playing this F note, he plays all three notes together in the power chord. Let me show you how. Here's slow. And for the second round, something like this. And for the scales, he's playing, uh, you know, D minor pentatonic, but not this D string. This box especially played towards the end of the song. So that's it, guys. Great song to play. Great song to jam. Let me know what you think in the comment box. And I'll see you next time with another video. And please, please, please don't forget subscribing. Just take care.